Welcome to your new home at the Hudson Quarter in York. The aim of this video is to provide you with an overview of the mechanical and electrical systems that exist within your apartment and help you identify the key elements. For any additional questions, please reach out to your contact at concierge or building management. Your apartment may appear slightly different to the one featured within this video, perhaps with a balcony or over two levels. However, the main functions discussed will absolutely be relevant to you. Let's begin with the mechanical systems. Your domestic water meter is not located within your apartment, but located within the landlord's risers. It is not directly accessible to you. Billing will come direct from the utility provider. However, if you do ever require a reading of the meter, please contact the building management team or concierge who can provide access. Each apartment has a service cupboard that is where all the control systems are located, including the cold water isolation system, the hot water system, your underfloor heating, the ventilation system and your washing machine. The mains cold water service isolation will be clearly labelled with a tag CWS. If there is a need for the mains cold water to the apartment to be isolated, the valve needs to be closed by turning clockwise until fully closed. This will cut all incoming water supply to the apartment, including bathrooms, kitchen and hot water system. It is only to be used if there is maintenance being carried out, works on bathrooms or the kitchen, or in the unlikely event of a leak. Additionally, you can isolate either the cold water or hot water that runs to the bathroom and kitchen by turning the desired valve clockwise 90 degrees. Blue is the cold water and red is the hot water. The Heating Interface Unit, or HIU for short, is at the heart of your apartment heating and hot water system that serves your kitchen and bathroom. Cold water is fed into the HIU along with the primary heating flow and return. The HIU delivers hot water out to your bathrooms and kitchen. Additionally, the HIU then distributes LPHW heating throughout the pipework below to the individual heating circuits for the underfloor heating. There is a controller for the HIU that is located outside on the wall, adjacent to the service cupboard. This is a combined controller which sets both heating and hot water operational parameters. However, it is important to recognise that this is a pre-commissioned controller and does not require any adjustment. If there is a requirement, please refer to the Home User Guide for further instruction on how to set up time schedules. The HIU can be isolated by the spur on the wall inside of the cupboard, which is clearly labelled. If there are issues with your system, please check first that this is switched to on. Underfloor heating is fitted throughout your apartment with wall-mounted thermostats provided in each room to easily control the temperature. When the room is up to the required temperature, there is a green light displayed on the thermostat. However, if you increase the target temperature by turning the dial, the light will switch to red until the target temperature is reached. The underfloor heating manifold can be found in the service cupboard. The heat interface unit feeds low pressure hot water heating to the manifold at the optimum temperature. The time schedule can be inputted on the HIU controller. However, as with all underfloor heating systems, this should not be switched off when used day to day, only set back to a lower temperature during non-occupied hours, as otherwise it will take a very long time to get back up to temperature. Suggested setback temperature while absent is 16 degrees Celsius, and this should be altered on your wall-mounted thermostats. For further instruction, please refer to the Home User Guide. Your washing machine can also be found in the service cupboard. For operation instructions, please refer to your Home User Guide. Power to your washing machine can be switched off with an easily reachable plug. The cold water to your washing machine can be isolated by turning the washing machine valve. Finally, please ensure that your washing machine waste pipe is connected correctly prior to use. These ceiling grills are part of the ventilation system, which is a clean air system within your home. The Mechanical Ventilation Heat Recovery Unit, MVHR for short, extracts dirty air and supplies clean air into your home. The unit comes pre-commissioned and set up, so nothing will require changing or adjusting. 
The LCD screen that you see on the front is for maintenance purposes only. The maintenance that is required though is that it is advised to clean the filters every six months with a hoover. Please ensure that the unit is electrically isolated prior to doing this. The unit system can be isolated via the fused spur on the wall. The unit has two different settings, trickle, which is the level the system runs on continuously, and boost, which is a manual setting to temporarily increase the flow rate of the supply and extraction of air within the apartment, but is designed for short-term use and should not be left on for long periods of time. The boost switch is in the kitchen and is always the far right bottom switch. It is best to operate the boost prior to cooking to get rid of cooking smells, as well as prior to using the shower or bath to help remove condensation. Please remember to turn it off after you've finished. The bathroom towel radiators are electric. Isolation is via a low-level fused spur outside of the bathroom. These radiators are very easy to control via the controller built into the unit. Switch on, then press the temperature up or down buttons. There is also a timer, which then automatically switches the radiator off after a certain period. Further information on setting up user-defined schedules can be found in your home user guide. There is a sprinkler system installed throughout your apartment. In a fire situation, the white cover cap will drop from the sprinkler valve if it reaches a temperature of 57 degrees Celsius. The fusible link within the sprinkler valve then has to reach 74 degrees Celsius before releasing water to fight the fire. These are life safety systems. These caps are not to be touched, removed or covered. In the bathroom, there is an easy to use controller to switch between your bath and your shower, along with the ability to easily adjust the water temperature. If your shower has two heads, you can also switch between the standard fixed shower head and the handheld head. Now for the electrical systems. Smart meters are being installed in all apartments for your use as the electric meters are not accessible and are located within the landlord's meter room. You will be billed directly via the service provider for your electric use. If you ever do need a meter reading, however, please contact the building management team or concierge to arrange. Your consumer unit is situated in your service cupboard. All circuits are labelled up for ease of identification. There is a mains isolation switch which, if switched, will isolate and turn off all electricity within the whole apartment. If there is a faulty appliance within your apartment, a circuit may trip. If so, ensure the item that tripped the circuit is identified, unplugged, and then reset the circuit by flipping the switch upwards to on again. If the fault persists, please contact building management. The kitchen grid switch can be found on the wall in the kitchen. It allows you to isolate and switch off your dishwasher, fridge freezer, oven and waste disposal unit. Lighting throughout the apartment is individually controlled in each room, but a last man switch located close to the front door allows you to switch off all lights in the apartment in one go. Please be aware, toilets and bathrooms are not linked to the last man out switch. TV and media points can be found in the living room and the bedrooms. If you have a skybox and subscription, you will be able to plug directly into here without the need for a dish. Virgin is also available, along with BT Broadband. Smoke and heat detectors are fitted throughout the apartment for your safety. The system is a localised domestic fire alarm system only and is not linked to the central building system. However, each device within your apartment is still linked, so if a kitchen alarm sounds, all other devices within the apartment will sound. To test both the smoke detector and the heat detector, just push the test button sharply. All smoke and heat detectors are mains powered, but have a battery backup. If the batteries require a change in either the smoke or heat detectors, you simply take a flathead screwdriver, push it into the slot and slide. Keep hold of the unit as you do this and then change the battery. The intercom system allows you to grant access to visitors. The phone symbols will light up first, which you can answer by pressing the green button. 
If you want to give access, you simply press the key button. Visitors would call via the front main gate external intercom first, which allows you to grant access to the compound, and then the visitor would reach the relevant apartment block intercom to get final access to your building. On behalf of G&H Building Services, enjoy your new home.